Hello, my name is Mr. Loon. I'm a drama teacher here at the Arena Academy, and today I'm very simply in this short video going to make it really easy for you to understand how your child can go about completing the at home COVID test. Now, pretty soon your child is going to be receiving a box that looks a little bit like this, and inside is enough for three COVID tests and we do ask that they go about completing that test at least twice a week we're looking for. Now inside the box you're going to find the following materials. I'm going to lay it out for you now really simply. So you should be familiar with this one straight away. You've got the swab. You've also got the lateral flow device. You've got a small plastic bin for wastage. You've got the extraction fluid. You've got the vial. And of course there's an instruction booklet as well so you can read over it at home just to clarify any misconceptions. So, let's, uh, let's talk you through step by step now how you go about doing the test. Now the first thing I would say you should do, and this is pretty vital to be honest, is to just sanitize your hands, give them a clean, make sure they're as clean as possible. It's always important when we're doing any kind of uh, uh, test or, or small medical procedure. And what I would also do is wipe a clean work surface. You don't want to be doing this on the kitchen side after you've just cooked some, some food. You want to be doing this on a surface that's completely sanitized. Next, you open this bag and you pull out the lateral flow test. Now, I would say as well, it's worth just blowing your nose as well before you go about doing this. Now, once you've got the test, your next step is to take, grab that, the vial. And you place it, there should be a small holder there for your convenience, just in there. Take the extraction fluid next. And you just gently twist the top off you just squeeze that into the vial like so and of course as we're going along and we're slowly getting some of that wastage you can just take one of these small little bags here and pop that inside to be disposed in your general waste when we're completely done with the procedure now next is probably the part you're most familiar with this is the uh, the swab test and of course makes it very clear where you should open that once that's done, you take, and again, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this, but just for those of you, those of you who aren't, you take the soft part of the swab, and you put it on the back of the tonsils four times on either side, and then up the nostril two and a half centimetres. If the child can't do a nostril test for whatever reason, the tonsils alone will do. On the way out of the nostril, just gently revolve it around the, the rim of the nostril, and then we're done. Now, we're coming towards the end now. You take the swab, and you put it into the vial with the extraction fluid. You put it in quite forcefully, actually, and revolve it around. I'd say roughly around, you want to be doing it for about 15 seconds, you want to be doing that for. And on the way out, just to make sure it's all off there, to make sure the, the test is as accurate and effective as possible, just squeeze that and pull it out. Place the vial back in there and continue the trend, of just popping the waste <clears throat> into the bag. Now, finally, we place the cap on top of the vial like so, and we return to our lateral flow device. Now you can see there, there's a small insignia of an S and a small, almost like pressure pad. What you want to do is just gently squeeze two droplets of the liquid onto there. You're done, and leave it on the sanitized work surface. Put that back into the disposal bag. And leave that for roughly about half an hour. Now when you return in half an hour, you should see one of two things. Hopefully, which is what we're all hoping for, next to the C insignia, you should see one line. That, of course, means the test is negative. If you see two lines, for whatever reason, one next to the C and the T, that does mean the test is positive. But regardless of the result, it's very important that next, you take the following booklet and you log the result on the government website. And there are instructions in the booklet for your convenience on how you do that. Now we would ask as well, as a school, just to make our lives a little bit easier and safe for everyone else, that once you've done that, you also log it with the school website. And there's a link to do that on the PowerPoint that will be accompanying this video. Now I realise that things are quite stressful and difficult at the moment, but as long as we all follow the regulations and we stick to the guidelines, then I'm confident that the pupils will return to a happy, safe and engaging school environment for all. Thank you.